Hello friends, Ray Bohax, Successful Farming Engine Man, and I'm here today with you to discuss fuel injectors. And if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm at the Firestone Test Farm in Columbiana, Ohio, a really neat facility where they do all the ag tire testing and development. You know, fuel injection is in everything today. You even go buy a lawn tractor and you get a fuel injected motor. So it's about time that we got to understand fuel injectors a little bit. Now, what's confusing is you say it's fuel injection that encompasses the whole system. What I'm gonna be discussing today is the key component, which is the fuel injector. And as you can see before me, I have a whole bunch of different fuel injectors. They look the same, but they look different. And there are different designs of fuel injectors as far as the envelope of where it fit, how it fits into the engine, but their function is basically the same. So I'm going to use this, what is called a pencil style injector. It's a smaller envelope and it's commonly used in most applications today. What you need to understand is that the fuel injector is sealed to the fuel rail, which is the fuel supply, and to the intake manifold with a rubber O-ring. The same O-ring goes on both sides and fits in this groove. Over time and through thermal cycles, these O-rings will start to get hard and they will leak. It usually does not leak at the fuel site because that's a, way, a little bit further from the engine, but it usually will come and start to leak at the engine site. And it's not going to leak fuel, it's going to create an air leak, a lean condition on one cylinder. And that could drive you crazy because you could have one cylinder that's sucking air and it's only because of an O-ring. And these O-rings are readily available in most better auto parts stores. So for any fuel injector, it's a common style O-ring for that application specific injector. The other thing is what a lot of people don't know is that inside the top of the injector, the feed side, there is actually a little screen. And when the injector gets serviced in a professional injection shop, they replace this screen. A special slap hammer with a screw is used to pull the screen out. So you could actually, if you had this little tool, and if you want to do it in the farm shop, you can buy those screens. And you, if you take the injector out to change your rings, you may want to pull the screen out and put a new screen in. The other thing that happens is some injectors actually have a pintle cone on it. And this pintle cone helps to distribute the fuel spray into the intake runner of the cylinder head. These two become brittle, and, will, and if it becomes brittle and falls off, it's not gonna hurt the motor, but the fuel delivery will not be atomized properly in that cylinder. If you're ever wondering whether the injectors are firing, if you're chasing a drivability problem, a rough idle, the proper tool to use is what's called a Noid light. It's N-O-I-D, and this plugs into the injector harness, you disconnect the injector electrically, you plug this in and you crank or start the engine and it will flash. You could also use a test light for that, but a Noid light is an easier way to do it. And it's very imperative to keep the injector pintle clean and a good product like this, an injector cleaner in the gas tank goes a long way in having the injector function properly. You have a blessed day and I'll see you next time in the farm shop. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.